Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about painting miniatures from start to finish and everything in between, including glazing. I've covered glazes so far and how to use glaze mediums, but I really haven't covered glazing in general and how it differentiates from layering. So this week I'm going to cover glazing and then next week I'm going to cover layering in more detail. So today we're going to be using a glazing approach to add some uh, shadowing to this guy and the next week I'll use a similar approach on a similar model. Recently I was asked, what is the difference between glazing and layering, since both are ways of, you know, slowly painting up gradients of color. Uh, though they are, as I said, similar, and sometimes they get mistaken for each other, there are inherent differences. With layering, typically you start with one color, let's call it color A, and slowly but surely you add more color B to it, and layer by layer you increase uh, the amount of B relative to A, and uh, slowly the color becomes more and more close to the color the second color as opposed to the first. And with each step, you you basically uh, pull back or add to the direction in which you're, you're painting. So if you're painting cloth, you could work your way upwards or work your way downwards, depending on how you want to do it. And the thing is with layering is you can kind of go in both directions. You can go from dark to light and light to dark because all you're essentially doing is, you know, taking one color and adding a second color slowly but surely, and through multiple thin layers, you're accomplishing your gradient. However, glazing is different. Glazing, what you do is essentially you start with one color, once again, color A, and then you tint it with B. And with each preceding tint, all you're continuing doing is using the same color uh, to tint it, in this case, color B. And what you're doing is with each following tint, you work in a direction, and with each following tint, it, the color becomes closer and closer to B. So you start off with A, and then you're working basically by, by pulling back in a direction, you are making the gradient approach B. And though you can technically tint in both directions, it's typically done darker. You start off with a lighter color and you tint to a darker tone. So, gla so while glazing is typically a really amazing technique for you know adding shadowing or depth or just adding a, th a dimension to your area versus layering, which can be done in kind of both directions. And so we'll be taking that approach today. So we, we're gonna start off with the medium tone green on uh, this on the cloth of this guy. So we're gonna start with Strachan Green. So as you can see, I just I thinned it down with some Lamy Medium and I'm gonna apply a nice solid coat of this Strachan Green to the miniature. And that way, as we're gonna do using tinting today to establish the shadowing. So we're gonna start off with the mid-tone. Let's just speed that up a little bit more and, and that way we'll cover the entire cape here. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna paint the entire cape cleanly and carefully with Strachan Green, which is a mid-tone olive green from the Citadel range. Now, as always, the key when creating your foundation color is get a nice solid coat, make sure you don't show any brush strokes, which is why I thin it down. And if after a single coat, you're unhappy with some of the coverage, go back and clean it up, uh, just add a little more uh, paint you know, paint over it. And I always recommend using a wet palette in these cases because it'll keep your paint nice and uh, usable for a while. So after the paint is dried on the miniature and you want to do a second coat, you don't need to add any more paint to the palette. It's already there and good to go. So as you can see, just painting the entire cape or cloak. It's dragon green. And then when it was completely dry and nice solid coverage, now we're going to take Wah Flesh and we are going to glaze into the shadows. So add some depth. So first we'll start off with adding Wah Flesh to our wet palette here. As you can see in the top left corner, there's the Strachan Green. So first we'll start by adding the Wah Flesh to the palette. Uh, just a little bit, as you can see here. Because you don't really need to use a lot. I'm going to add a few drops of water as well. Just a few drops to thin it down. And I'll get a nice thin Wah Flesh. And then finally, I'll add some glaze medium. So give it a good shake and then add a few drops of glaze medium. That way we'll have that nice glazed uh, transparency, which is what we're going for. Now glaze medium, this will have a matte finish in the end. So don't, you don't really need to worry about the shininess when painting it onto the miniature. And of course, I'll give it a good mix and that way it's, it's now at the nice consistency of a glaze. And we're gonna use this to, as I said, add some depth and some shadowing onto this cloak. And as you can see, we're going from lighter to dark. And now when loading your brush, I like to load only a little bit of this glaze onto your brush. So as you can see, I'm wiping off considerably most of it onto the palette. 
And when painting it onto the miniature, what I like to do is just carefully, you know, pull my brush along it, almost perfect, uh, almost like the brush is completely parallel to the surface. As you can see, I'm just carefully gliding the, the end of my brush into the, the recesses. And now since I'm starting off with the dark, because uh, we're going from dark to light essentially in this case, because we're starting, we're, we're painting with a dark color, I always start off with the deep recesses and then work my way upwards. And what I'm gonna do with each preset, preceding um, glazing is I'm not gonna go as high up as I did the previous step. I'm gonna start off with the deep recesses and work my way towards the, the raised surfaces, the very peaks of the cape. But uh, as I said, with each step, I'm going less and less up the cape. That way, it'll have a nice um, consistent gradient, uh, you know, a nice gradient of colors from the deep recesses to the top parts. And you can do as many glazes as you want. And what happens is with each preceding glaze, the areas that you're glazing become closer and closer to the color in which you're glazing. So now, the more glazes I apply, the deep recesses will be closer to wah flesh. And of course, the raised areas will be that I neglected will be stracken green. So as you can see, after one glaze, we already have some strong uh, some strong shadowing, but we're gonna keep going just to blend it a little bit better. So we're gonna do some several glazes. And the thing is with glazing, as I said, the more glazes you do, the ultimately better effect it will be. The, the thinner you use, uh, the, sorry, the thinner the glaze that you that you apply, and the more glazes you do, the better the gradient will be, and the more um, more flowing the gradient will be. So as you can see, I'm just starting off with the deep recesses, carefully working my way upwards. But this step, I'm not going as far up as it, the previous step, and that's the point. So I'm just creating a gradient of colors. The peaks will be closer to Strachan Green. The deep recesses will be closer to Wah Flesh. Because all I'm doing is tinting one layer at a time, the lighter green towards a more darker green. And now obviously the key is between steps is you gotta give it time to dry. So as you can see with each preceding step, I'm just going to give it plenty of time to dry because there's a bit of a drying retardant in glaze medium. So you wanna let it completely dry before proceeding to the next glaze because otherwise you're gonna crack the glazes layer at a time and it will end up not showing up too nicely. It'll, uh, it'll have really bad brush strokes in your, in your gradients. So as you can see, once again, starting off with the deep recesses, working my way upwards, but not going as far up as I did. I'm only gonna do three glazes in this example, but as you can see, there's very clear definitions, um, of uh, very clear gradients of colors. And here's what the model looks like after three glazes, but you can do as many glazes as you wish. But I've been able to, just using glazing, uh, establish some quick shadowing onto the miniature, and it has that nice shadowing effect, and there's definite uh, a gradient of colors from the deep recesses, which are close to off flesh to the peaks, which are close to Strack and Green. And that's glazing. And next week I'll show um, layering and a, a similar approach with layering on a similar miniature. So thank you as always for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101. I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for next week's episode, part 135, which is just around the corner. But if you want to wait for next week, check out the warp. Click on the link below for a free 14-day trial to my other YouTube channel. We're not going to get to see the next six months worth of Miniature Painting 101 episodes before anyone else. You'll see over 100 start to finish painting tutorials, battle reports, face-off episodes, just tons of awesome wargaming content. I know you'll love it. So go check out the warp. Stay tuned for more episodes. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.